Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today I'm gonna start three new bins. Well, new-ish. I harvested these to get worms for my Earth Day presents. Uh, so I sifted them, and there's still probably about a pound of worms in each one of these bins. So they've been sifted down pretty good. You can see that what size worms I've got in here. There's still a good population density in these bins. But I'm going to restart them. I'm going to use some of my paper bedding and I'm going to just feed them some regular old kitchen scraps. All right, let's get going. All right, bin number one. I'm going to give it a good two, <clears throat> two handfuls of my prepared bedding. When I say handfuls, I actually kind of mean like two hands full. I'm going to mix that up because I did let this get kind of dry so it would be easier for me to sift and pick out some good sized worms. So I'm going to mix this all together. That way I can bring the moisture back up in the spin. Kind of flatten that back out. And then I'm going to do it to those bins as well. Okay. Just like I said, completely mixing the moist bedding with the existing worms and what's left of the castings that are in here. Basically everything that went on top of the uh, 1 8 inch screen which is here. So everything that was on top of this stayed in the bin. And that's how I maintain all of my microbes for the next setting of the bin. A lot of people that have problems with their new bins is because they're new new and they don't have the um, natural bacteria and macroflora that are important to start a bin with. All right, let's go find some scraps. All righty. This is a two gallon bowl. So I've got some banana peels and potato peels. Kind of distribute these amongst the various bins. Got some oranges. Avocado shells, definitely got some coffee in here, oranges, looks like some apple as well. These guys have not been fed in probably a month or two, so I'm not going to skimp on the food at all because it has been a long time and all they've had are the hard bits that are left over at the end of a bin when you're sifting so they've had slim pickings for quite some time all right i'm gonna go ahead and cover that up with the bedding so the bin won't be totally full full as far as the the square square inches of the bin. I'm gonna just pile that up over the food a little bit so they can get at it. And then same thing with this guy here. Try and keep the bugs to a minimum. And then I actually have one more bin that I need to do for an Earth Day present. So these guys hopefully will pick up some weight for me so that I can make one more bin. And these little wormies are gonna go all the way to California. So I need to get that done before it gets too hot. 
Alrighty, well, that's about all we're gonna do, but we're starting three new, and these are the European night crawlers that were the offspring of the Titans. So, unless things have gotten mixed up again, these are primarily European night crawlers. Um, but anyway, that's it for the video. Give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video. Click subscribe if you're not already a member of my worm family. Hit that little bell icon if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.